Hey there, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches and welcome to an unboxing video and I have an Aquastar, a deep star to I saw this watch about a week ago on Instagram. They came out with a new variation uh, of the Deep Star 2 with a silver dial, Sunray silver dial. It looked awesome. It was on a Beats or Rice bracelet, and I'm such a sucker for good marketing. And a, a brand that I didn't, you know, I knew existed. I knew that uh, they uh, were a Phoenix brand. Uh, Rick Marai uh, took over the company uh, a couple years ago. And he's, if you've heard that name, he's done the same thing with Synchron. Uh, he helped Doxa uh, get through some hard times and brought him back into the uh, spotlight. Uh, so I've heard of them, right? And, and they have uh, recently came out with uh, with their new revitalization of the brand, the um, uh, remake of their Diver Chrono. And for me, diving, Diver Chronos are kind of a head scratcher. Like, I don't get it. But anyway, it looked good. It looked good. And they have a, a really nice design. Uh, not uh, not derivative at all. It's their own design. They have a bunch of patents on their dive watches. So, you know, I figured I'd give them a chance here. And um, so we have it here. Let me get it out of the packaging. This is a little, okay, push button here. Let's see if I can get this open without making a big commotion. And there it is. Now, I was a little hesitant about, about this watch because it is on the smaller side. Uh, more of a vintage size. It's just under 37 millimeter case diameter. So yeah, just a little hesitation. I went for it anyway. I just wanted to check it out. And uh, yeah, oh wow, that's that's really, that's nice looking. Um, it, it is small. I mean, I, right off the bat, like that's like, for me, it's small. Uh, well, just because I'm used to like bigger watches. Uh, most of my watches are 40 plus uh, case diameter. Uh, anyway, so you know, not necessarily a bad thing. I just, uh, it, your eye has to kind of get used to it, right? If you're used to wearing big watches and then you throw in a small watch, it's it's shocking, right? Or if you wear a lot of smaller watches and you put on a, a big watch, it, it's definitely, it shocks you, right? But then your eye gets used to it. My eye gets used to it after a day or two and then, and then I'm totally fine. So I'm hoping that's the case here. This comes on the Tropic Strap and and I saw in the box they threw in a, a NATO. Uh, I'll probably end up getting the Beads of Rice bracelet if um, you know if if I decide to keep the the watch. Uh, like I said, just under 37 millimeter case diameter. Uh, I forget what the thickness was, but I'll have that those specs in the review. I know this is around 46 lug to lug. Uh, really good looking watch. Let's do um, the bezel here. Let's uh, okay. Yeah, so. It, it hits it hits the detents uh, with with authority. Um, just feels a little too easy to turn though. Not that it's loose, um, but it just feels a little 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 too easy. Um, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, it certainly feels like solid in a way. I'm trying to get it centered. It's maybe slightly off centered. Uh, it depends on how. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It. it that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. Uh, if it's just slightly off, it doesn't bother me, but it might be on. I just have to take a closer look at it, but uh, very, very cool. Yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more um, resistance on on the bezel action, but okay, that, that's totally fine. Um, this has a manual ETA, uh, Salida-based movement. Uh, so unscrewing it is good. Okay, good grip there, no complaints. Um, okay, pop up. Oh, nice wind. There's, it's it it. There's enough resistance there uh, that makes it feel like it's it's doing something. Um, let's pop it out and change the time here. Okay, that feels really easy. Maybe a little too easy, but whatever. It is what it is. It's, it's fine. Okay, let's screw that down. And you have the running seconds at the nine o'clock. I really love the design uh, of this of this piece. Now the the chrono has that the, obviously the chrono pushers on the right side of the case, but it has that big uh, seconds hand at the three o'clock position. So this is kind of like a, the flip of that, and uh, and I like it. Uh, I like that look. Uh, let's do this on wrist. Oh, look at these indices. Look at these applied indices um, surrounding the loom plots here on the the twelve. 
three and six. That's pretty cool. And little little applied loom right here on the other hours here. Uh, very, very cool. And I'll get into more details about this bezel uh, as well. It's, it's not your typical uh, timing bezel as you would see in most divers these days. Um, but let's get this on wrist. Now I got a six and three quarter inch wrist. And uh, look, on camera and on in pictures, I know, well, I know it's gonna look like this in pictures, but on camera, it looks like it's a really good size on my wrist, but it feels, it, it looks a little bit smaller to my eye. Um, again, that I'll get used to that, you know, if this decides to stick around. I mean, it looks it looks pretty dang cool. Uh, I like it. It's a little thick on the thick side here, but that's okay. It's a dive watch, that's fine. 200 meters water resistance on this dive watch, by the way. Um, very, very nice. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Nice presentation here. Got a little card, and this is my serial number. Very cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Can I pull this up over here? Let's see if there's anything down here. Nope, nada. That's fine. That is fine. No biggie. Let me put that back in here. Yeah, nice, nice presentation. Uh, now these retail for eighteen ninety. If you pre-ordered this one. It was around fourteen ninety, but the pre-order did not come with the bracelet. Now, the bracelet I think is another two hundred fifty bucks. But if you're an owner uh, of of a watch and you could prove it, I think on the side they give you a little bit of a break. I think it's like one hundred and eighty dollars. Those are rough numbers. Uh, I'll have those details on in the review. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video. If my channel is new to you and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates when I upload new videos. I love making these videos and I hope you like them too. And also, if you want to support the channel, please buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.